Jim Goldberg is an American photographer best known for his work exhibiting the lives of outcasted, less fortunate, and mistreated individuals. Goldberg started his career at a time when the integrity of social documentary was under scrutiny due to image manipulation with the intent to spark change. However, his cinema verite approach, where the photographic purpose is to be objective and capture the truth, gives his work credibility. Through long-term collaborations with his subjects, Goldberg documented topics such as rich versus poor in San Francisco, California, street life in New Haven, Connecticut, and the struggles of refugees who had escaped to Europe. Goldberg's collection is presented in his photography books, multimedia exhibitions, and video installations. Rich and Poor is Goldberg's collection about the economic divide in America during the 70s and 80s. Goldberg gave his subjects the freedom to literally write on his photographs and share stories about their lives. Although this was considered radical, this was important to the field of photography because it showed life from an insider's point of view, rather than just the artist. This photograph, taken in 1982 and signed by the name Vicky, says, My dream was to become a school teacher, and Mrs. Stone is rich. I have talents, but not opportunity. I am used to standing behind Mrs. Stone. I have been a servant for 40 years. Although it is obvious, due to her servant attire, that the writing in this photograph belongs to Vicky, the woman standing in the background, Mrs. Stone's presence in the photo gives the viewer more insight into their dynamic. The spatial relationship between Vicky and Mrs. Stone being closer to the camera makes her authoritative position evident. Although both women have side lighting on their faces, Mrs. Stone is more in the light, making her appear extremely powerful. While it might seem that Mrs. Stone is the star of the image due to the positioning and ambient lighting, it is actually Vicky that is far more intriguing. Goldberg captures Vicky's face at the intersection point in the rule of thirds, prompting the viewer to spend time examining her stature, questioning what her body language is trying to communicate. The presence of both women, as well as the emotionally charged writing, makes this an ethically evaluative photo because it takes deeper issues such as race and privilege and makes them hard for the viewer to ignore. In 1995, Goldberg presented an exhibition called Raised by Wolves, which used a variety of multimodal approaches to attempt to convey the realities of life for homeless youth in California. Goldberg used materials such as photographs, texts, sounds, found objects, and clothing to convey street kids' lives. This ethically evaluative photo taken in 1988 called Baby Angel depicts Sonia, her boyfriend, and her daughter from another man. Goldberg explains that after years of living on the streets, this photo shows Sonia renting a house at the Finland Squat, a place where homeless teens stayed, paying their rent by selling methamphetamines. The ambient lighting in this picture is crucial because it emphasizes the baby as a symbol of innocence against the dingy backdrop of Sonia and her boyfriend, making them appear impure in comparison. The composition follows the rule of odds, causing the viewer to move back and forth from the couple and the baby, as if trying to reconcile the two. Personally, this technique creates a sense of anxiety and discomfort, causing me to worry over the fate of the baby. Will she end up like Sonia and her boyfriend? This photograph, taken in 1991, is called Under Highway 280 and was from the same collection. At the time, the dot-com boom or the rise of the internet was creating a greater social divide between the classes, isolating homeless populations the most. The spot in this photo depicts a living room-like setup with a carpet, a sofa, and a painting of the Mediterranean on the wall above. The rule of thirds emphasizes the painting, making it the focus of the makeshift living room. Goldberg makes sure to photograph the scene so that it is lined with the picture frame, even though the pole it hangs on now appears tilted. I feel that by doing this, it asks the viewer to pay more attention to the beautiful painting and less to the fact that it is hung on the streets. It shows the living room in a more respectful, positive light than it would if the painting was a tilted one. The vanishing point, formed by the bridge in the background of the photograph, gives the illusion that the spot is one of many. This photograph is quite interpretive and aesthetically evaluative for a homeless spot. Overall, Jim Goldberg's work is a remarkable collection because of the relationships and trust he was able to form with his subjects. Due to his innovative approach of having his subjects write their thoughts on their photographs, Goldberg's work is notably personable and truthful.